AI and uh, HPC has been in the news a lot recently. Uh, in fact, congrats to Core Scientific this morning, the announcement. Earlier this year, Core Scientific announced it will be modifying several of its existing Bitcoin mining sites into high performance computing. We announced our first deal on June 3rd for 200 megawatts. Subsequent to that, we've announced another 182 megawatts of high performance computing deals with CoreWave. And just five months after Core Scientific communicated its plans to contract 500 megawatts to host high performance computing, they announced that CoreWave is exercising its final contract option for 120 megawatts of critical IT load, expanding the total contracted infrastructure for high performance computing to approximately 500 megawatts. The combined contracts for the total 500 megawatts represents a potential cumulative revenue of $8.7 billion over the 12 year life of the contracts. The demand for compute for AI and generative information computing is just exploding, obviously. So this demand is not gonna go anywhere at this point. That is Adam Sullivan, the CEO of Core Scientific. Core Scientific. Core Scientific. Leader in application-specific digital infrastructure. Adam Sullivan of Core Scientific. He's going to tell us exactly what Core Scientific is all about. Core Scientific is a digital infrastructure company. We own and operate currently 800 megawatts of infrastructure. That's enabled us to be the largest Bitcoin miner over the past three years. And now it's enabling our shift to hosting high-performance computing. But what exactly is high-performance computing? High-performance computing is the next generation of compute. So the next generation of compute is compute enabled by GPUs. And this is really representative of this broader shift to artificial intelligence that we're seeing and this much more computational intensive type compute. So that's really what's representative in high-performance computing, whereas higher demands, higher computational output, and also higher power needs. We have been one of the largest developers of not only high-powered electrical infrastructure, but also digital infrastructure over the past seven years. And that puts us squarely in a position to capitalize on this growing opportunity for hosting high-performance computing for some of the largest tech companies in the world. When it comes to modifying our sites, there are two key factors that give us a competitive edge. From an infrastructure standpoint, Core Scientific has 1.2 gigawatts of power under contract. That's spread across nine facilities in the United States. That's enabling us to capitalize on this opportunity and this shift to high performance computing that we're undertaking today. Core Scientific has a very unique team. We almost all come from the traditional data center industry, which has enabled us to not only go after clients, but also ensure that we can meet timelines, ensure delivery, ensure all of the components that are necessary to deliver a very complex data center. Since Core Scientific is uniquely positioned to bring HPC data centers to market quickly, we have already begun the modification process. As we continue to make headway, we will keep you updated. In the meantime, here's a sneak peek at what's ahead. For us, the transition from a Bitcoin mining facility to an application-specific data center, uh, so what needs to happen? Generative and, and large language model AI projects. We're in the process of converting. And that's the story of America, really, when you think about it. Stay with us for progress updates and more info.